So ladies and gentlemen, Fox News did a poll and they found that most Republicans want higher taxes for the rich. If this is a democracy and not some sort of mental labyrinth, compartmentalized sick system, then why won't they pass my trillion dollar uh, distribution plan? Just one trillion dollars from the rich, okay? That's like people like, um, you know, uh, Seinfeld has $950 million. That's only like $18 million or something. It's like 1 55th, if that, of the, the wealth of the rich. They have like 55 trillion plus. So he'd only redistribute, uh, redistribute $18 million, or so, $18 million or so, and he has $950 million. So he can do the math, right? They're not going to miss that. Nor would they miss the war on poverty plan uh, tax, which is an average of $200 a month. Some of these guys might pay $4,000 a month, but, you know, that's peanuts. You know, that's like fucking 48000 a year if you have like a billion dollars or something. You see what I'm saying? So that's nothing, right? In 10 years, it's only $480,000, and they have a billion dollars. So I recommend a double tax on those who have maybe $10 million or more, okay? So we can get lots of money in. And every time the rich recoups, okay, the trillion dollars, right? When they, when they drop a trillion dollars, by the time they get back that trillion dollars, they have to redistribute another trillion dollars. This is not communism, okay? If Seinfeld, for example, will still have well over $900 million, okay, after the trillion dollar redistribution, okay? and the war on poverty plan tax and the extra tax okay and i want luxury taxes maybe a very small tax on pet food very small alcohol tax tobacco tax okay very small a penny you know per dollar we'll say okay we can raise quite a bit of money to build low-income housing and subsidize that housing and perhaps build up uh cities and rapidly develop them in places where it's cheaper to live, like in the South and in places that are poor, okay? Especially border states, we can start building in immigrant communities there. This is a no-brainer. I think most Republicans even want the immigrants here. There's some radical Republicans that want to deport them all, but most of them don't want that because a lot of them own farms and they use them for cheap labor and, you know, what have you. It gives them something to complain about or whatever reasons they have, okay? So, this is what needs to happen. The people have spoken in the polls. Where should the money go to? Why right? should the money get wasted? It should be misappropriated? You know, what do they think the higher tax the higher taxes should be for? It should be housing the homeless, building subsidized housing, passing food programs, so no American will ever be homeless again unless they're insane and they're hell bent to be homeless. Pretty straightforward. Now, those of you who are like, why should we do that? Well, why do you house inmates? You give them three hot meals and a place to stay. Okay, what the hell? You're treating the inmates better than the people you abuse outside of prison and the homeless, okay? Who have, you have taken advantage of this system, okay? And the, the, the disorganized mess, the corrupt mess it is in order to get rich. That's not the same as working hard for your money. There's a lot of people who work for like 50 years or so or 40 years or whatever and they're homeless and they're broke. They worked hard for the money because you exploited them. They don't have that money. Because you failed to win the war on drugs, there's a bunch of drug addicts who are drug addicted, homeless, some are even disabled. Imagine being disenfranchised, drug addicted, and disabled. There's no possible counter argument. What is your viable counter argument? If you don't have one, the people have spoken, and it's the right thing to do. Pass the trillion dollar redistribution plan, and pass the war on poverty plan with an average of, you know, with an increased tax, rather, on people with $10 million or more. So $5 on average for people who are less than millionaires. Okay, remember on average, $5 a month. $200 a month on average for people who are worth a million dollars and above. Okay, with a double tax on the rich. So say say Seinfeld, because he owes about a billion dollars, would pay 4,000 a month, just throw a number out there. He'd pay 8,000 a month. Okay, that's uh, like um, 96,000 a year. In 10 years, okay, that's only $960,000, and he's worth $950 million, okay? So in 20 years, that's less than $2 million. He can easily afford that. He can afford the $18 million for the trillion-dollar redistribution plan, okay? He'll, he'll might, you know, when all is said and done, when he, if he keeps the same amount of money his whole life, you know, if he doesn't spend a lot of money, he'll we'll have well over $900 million still, 
after all these plans. Nowhere near communism, it's doable. Okay, the people have spoken, they want higher taxes, and what's the best use for it is to address child hunger, address hunger in general, address the housing situation, including the homeless and low-income housing. Thank